Hi everyone, I am Dr. Wafa Ibadawi, a senior consultant histopathologist and head of pathology department, AKMICHKSA. I'll be talking about sex cord stroma tumors of the ovary, fecoma. General background. Fecomas, fecal cell tumors, are uncommon benign tumors, representing less than 1% of all ovarian neoplasms. They are composed of plump spindle lipid containing cells resembling those found in theca interna of a developing follicle. They typically occur in postmenopausal women, most commonly in the sixth decade, but they may occur at any age. However, they are rare before puberty. These tumors are commonly sterogenic, and most women present with abnormal vaginal bleeding. Approximately 20% of patients will also develop concurrent endometrial carcinoma. Of not luteinized Thecomas are androgenic in approximately 10% of cases. Gross appearance. The vast majority of thecomas are unilateral, approximately 95%. They range in size from microscopic tumors to masses between 5 and 10 centimeter. These tumors are typically well-defined solid and have a tan yellow with a firm consistency, sometimes lobulated section surface. On occasion, they may show areas of necrosis, foci of cystic changes, hemorrhage or calcification. Microscopic features. Thecomas are composed of nodular aggregates or sheets of uniform plump round to spindle shaped cells that are arranged in ill-defined fascicles or show vague story form areas. They have round two oval nuclei with finely dispersed chromatin, moderate amount of pale vacuolated, livid rich or grayish pink cytoplasm and indistinct cell membranes, creating a sensation appearance. Cystic change is uncommon. The tumor cells are arranged in ill-defined fascicles or show vague storiform areas. The intervening stroma is collagenous and may show focal hyaline blocks or even keloid-like sclerosis. There is no cytologic atibia, although degenerative type atibia without increased mitotic activity may be present. Punctate nucleoli and nuclear grooves are sometimes present. This thecoma shows increased cellularity and nuclear palisading, mimicking schwannomas that is sometimes seen in the tumors in fibroma thecoma group. Thecomas in young women are often calcified. This case has numerous 
some MoMA bodies besides the areas of calcification. Mitotically active ovarian thecoma, otherwise typical thecomas occasionally display numerous mitosis. Leutinized thecoma. It resembles a typical thecomas, but contain leutine steroid cells, singly or in clusters. These two photos show isolated clusters of large, clearly leutinized theca cells. Abundant is xenophilic cytoplasm, round, slightly hyperchromatic vesicular nuclei in a background of smaller spindled cells. In pregnant women, thecomas may undergo extensive leutinization and may mimic pregnancy leutioma. However, the latter lacks a fibromatous or thecomatous background and the cells contain little or no lipid. Of note, leutinized thecomas are androgenic in approximately 10% of cases. Leutinized thecoma with sclerosing peritonitis. It is a variant of thecoma that typically affects women in their third and fourth decades. The tumors typically have a prominent nodular or cerebriform surface and a solid homogeneous white to tan pink and edematous cut section. The ovarian tumor is composed of dense short intersecting fascicles of spindle cells with scanty xenophilic cytoplasm and round to spindle nuclei with small nucleoli, minimal cytologic atibia, and prominent mitotic activity. Interspersed between the spindle cells, there are nests and clusters of small leutinized cells. In the omentum, sclerosing peritonitis is seen microscopically as a moderately cellular fibroplastic proliferation surrounding individual lobules of adipose tissue. Peritoneal adhesions increase the risk of bowel obstruction, requiring extensive and multiple surgeries. With the reticulin stain, the comas show a dense network of fibers around individual cells, pericellular reticulin. This is an important diagnostic feature which helps in distinguishing them from granulosa cell tumors, which lack this pattern. Thecomas are positive for alpha inhibin, strong cytoplasmic staining, cal retinin, and SF1. Please note that Fibroma and thecoma have overlapping morphology, and the two may coexist within the same tumor, that is fibrothecoma. The distinction between the two is largely an academic exercise, since both are benign. Prognosis and therapy. Thecoma, including leutinized thecoma, is a benign tumor. Unilateral salvingeo or ophorectomy is considered adequate treatment.
treatment of luteinized thecoma with sclerosing peritonitis consists of removal of the ovarian lesion, omentectomy, lysis of adhesions, power resection when necessary to relieve symptoms of obstruction. Because of their hormone production and association with endometrial proliferation, endometrial sampling should be performed to exclude endometrial neoplasia. These are the references. Thank you.